Hello Drones in School community. I'm here today to show you how to set up your controller and Veloc drone. So we have our Emacs V8 that came with our Tiny Hawk 3 uh, here on the table and I have Velocidrone up on the screen. So the first time you go to use Velocidrone, you need to set up this controller so that the software knows how to interpret what's happening on the controller. So I've got it plugged in with a USB cord to my computer. And it's really all you have to do. You have to turn it on before you plug it in. Very important to remember that. And then once you're ready to go, you click on controller. Now you only have to set this up once for your controller. So once you set that up, you're good to go. Now you'll notice when I move the sticks on my controller, these indicators here that show my stick position are, are not moving. I do see movement over here on these orange sliders, which means the computer is reading a signal, but it really doesn't know what to do with it. It doesn't know where that should uh, be placed or where it belongs for, um, for Velocidrone. So what I have to do is I have to assign the controller. So first thing I do is hit controller, it says move a stick on the controller. All right, boom. So now it says, all right, now I know what controller you want to use. So I'm only looking at that USB port for control. But now I need to assign the sticks. Now this is probably the hardest part. It's not really that hard, but it's the part that some people have trouble with. So I want to do a little video to explain it. You're going to see on the screen here, these indicators are going to move and it's going to give you instructions right here in this text box, tell you what to do. All you have to do, follow the instructions. So I'm going to hit assign sticks. It says move the sticks. So I'm going to go and move the sticks the way it says. So move them up, move them down. I'm going to center them. Then it says move the roll. Y'all, there it is. Now I'm going to the roll stick. Move the pitch stick, move the yaw stick, move the throttle stick. Okay, so I'm going to move these around. And again, if I messed it up, so like say I move one the wrong way, no problem. So if I start moving these sticks and it's like, yeah, it's not working like I thought it would. Maybe I went the wrong direction or I didn't do it fast enough. Not a problem. Just hit assign sticks and repeat the process. So center and go up, up. Center, again, roll, pitch, yaw, throttle, all right? And then I'll have this little model here of a drone that I can use to see what's going on. So if I move it, the throttle down, see the props slow down. If I move it up, they spin up a little bit. If I yaw, that gives me my right, right and left motion. I've got my pitch and I have my roll. So when I move the sticks, I should see everything kind of working on there as it should. Now, the last thing I want to do, I don't have to do this, but if you want to, it's kind of fun. Um, you can set up um, your arm switches. So you have all these center section of controls that you can, can assign to one of your aux switches. Really, the only one you have to do is the arm um, really, I don't, don't even have to do that one, really. But if you want to, just to get in the practice of it, you can do the arm motors. So you can click arm motors. First of all, you want to figure out which one you want to use for arm motors. So I've got a couple options. I've got this one. I've got this back switch. So I'm going to go ahead and use this back switch, which is, as I move it, you'll see it turning orange down here so I can tell what um, section or what channel really that that signal is coming into the software so i'm going to go ahead and flip that up so i know and go to arm and then i click that axis and then there you go so there it is so there's it says disarmed armed disarmed and once you're all done with that you're really all set if for some reason something seems totally messed up it's not working the way you thought it would you can come back into the controller uh panel here and then you can just hit reset all assignments and start everything over so it's uh, completely customizable and and you can't really break it so if it didn't work just try it again until you get it to work and then the next time when you come in when you plug in your controller velocidrone assumes you're using that same controller again and it leaves everything configured so unless you change controllers you really don't have to make any major changes here to use Velocidrone. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you have fun and keep flying in Velocidrone and getting better every day.